Okay. Last video we will see acceleration of the block in friction condition. Paato. In the video, le, what will be the time taken by the block to reach the ground and what will be the velocity of the block when it reaches the ground in without friction condition. Paato. So, in the last video, we found that my acceleration will be d sin theta in without friction condition. Ipo, also, using equation of motion, we know s is equal to ut plus half at squared. So in the block we consider parana, in the block mala act agra, one and only force is going to be the gravitation. Right? There is no other force acting on it. So it is because of the gravitation this block starts to slide. So the initial velocity of the block is going to be zero. So if we are going to apply that, we get S is equal to half. The acceleration is going to be G sin theta into T squared. So what will be the distance travelled by the block in this case? If we observe in this diagram, using trigonometry, we will get this total distance to be height of this wedge divided by sin theta. So, from this equation, we get the time taken, total time taken by the block to reach the ground to be root of 2h by g sin square theta. Now, now let us look at what will be the velocity of the block when it reaches the ground. So we will use another equation which is going to be v is equal to u plus a t. So now we will explain the initial velocity will be 0. So my final velocity will be d sin theta into the total time taken. So that will be 2h by g sin square theta. So simplifying this now final velocity will be root 2 gh. So in the video le, number without friction condition le, or a block or inclined plane will slide out. What will be the time taken to reach the ground and what will be the final velocity of the block when it reaches the ground in path. So po, in the video path and mulama, try what will be the time taken and what will be the velocity in with friction condition. Thank you.